friends, my name is Professor M. S. Rao. I have authored 52 books, including the award winning book titled See the Light in the Purpose of the Noble Laureate. This color means the level magic in a four word. I have 42 years of diversified experience, including daily first business, teaching, and training. In this video, I talk about uh, luck factor. Uh, everybody wants to be lucky, but everybody can't be lucky. Why? Because there are various uh, factors and forces that uh, uh, shape the things around. Sometimes external forces will uh, disturb the things. So you have to, whenever you are deviating from the, uh, deviating due to the external forces, you have to align those things and keep everything in the right track. So you, you have to ensure that uh, uh, things are falling into place. You need to have a right mindset, tool set and skill set uh, to achieve success and also to uh, be uh, lucky in life. So precisely the right person in the right place at the right time. But again it doesn't happen. And you need to emphasize about internal locus of control. So you have to uh, uh, you have to take care of all the external factors, then you have to uh, move on accordingly. Then again you have to take feedback. When things go wrong, don't mind and be persistent and be consistent in your efforts. Keep moving in that direction. So precisely what you have to do is see success uh, is all about the right person, the right place and the right time. That's what. And uh, keep moving in the right direction. Be creative and uh, be patient and be persistent. So these are all the aspects. And uh, people talk about uh, Warren Buffett and uh, Elon Musk, they are successful. Uh, that doesn't mean that everybody is successful in this world. There are some forces and factors, so sometimes some people are lucky, uh, fairly, but all are not lucky in life. Uh, but at the same time, you have to keep moving and keep working hard and in the right direction. You have to work smart, work wise and work uh, Wise. This is how you have to lead your life. And let me share with you my challenge. Uh, I was blessed to be alive of the brain stroke in the year of 2021. I survived because of my positive psychology, because of the power of subconscious mind, and because of the healthy habits that I acquired from Indian Air Force. I was born in a toxic family and grew up in a toxic environment. And uh, I am a late bloomer. OCD, dyslexic and ADHD add to that the brain stroke has worsened my health. I still belong to a lower middle class family with financial challenges, mental challenges and physical challenges. So uh, never ever give up or be optimistic and everything happens for a reason. I, I failed in many ways in my life. I am 60 years old. Still I have failed and I keep failing but I am not giving up. When you look at Abraham Lincoln, he failed in many ways. Finally, became the uh, first uh, Republican president of uh, America. So it's possible for everyone. Only thing you have to learn lessons and keep moving. I I was uh, I was shortlisted to become an Indian Air Force officer, but again I failed to reach that uh, merit. So I could not become an Indian Air Force officer. So I, I worked in the lowest rank as a cobbler in the Indian Air Force for around 12 to 13 years. So we should not give up and we have to keep moving in that direction. When you look at my own profile, I was born in a toxic family, grew up in a toxic environment. I have acquired seven qualifications including BME, BAC, MBA, MBA, PGD level, PGD level, and my PhD in soft skills in the year 2011. All these things I acquired through private education, not regular education. People assume that I acquired qualifications from Stanford, Kellogg's, and various other uh, MIT like that. It's not in that way. So you have to work hard and keep moving in the right direction. Above all, be mindful and be ethical in what you are doing. And uh, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.